Welcome back to episode 10, landmark episode 10 of Secret of Evermore. And uh, we're picking up right where we left off. The good queen is sending us back to confront the evil queen, the imposter, the imposter queen. She only won because of the electoral college, but that's neither here nor there. We're not going to get into that. So she wants me to go talk to Tinker before I leave. So I'm going to go do that real quick. We're coming up on the end of the game now, actually. We're, we're really closing in. Pictures seem almost... Must be a trick of the... Wait, what? What is it, boy? What is it? Oh, no. It's a boss. A very easy boss. Wow. Okay. So, wait a minute. The queen... The queen knew about this, right? When, when she sent me into this hallway, when she was like, go east and talk to Tinker, she knew that there was a trap here. And, and she sent me in here anyway. Unbelievable. I'm starting to wonder who the evil queen really is. Whose side are you on, woman? All right, I'm gonna take this guy out, take this guy, oh, maybe this one will be, the, this, is, this is the real boss fight right here, these guys. These guys are the, the real fight. This is gonna be, this is going to be it right here. Uh, okay, okay. Not, not so much. Not, not so much. So, I've still got Lance and Crush equipped. Um, just in case I run out of one of them, I'll have the other as backup. Now, it's worth noting that this is actually where Nintendo Power's coverage of the game comes to an end. It uh, culminates with the Verminator fight, and they give you some kind of hints as to where to go next. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Nintendo Power's Evermore coverage. There's quite a bit of Gothica left to go, and then we've got Omnitopia as well. Um, but regardless, I don't plan on it taking very long to get through the rest of the game. So he just confirmed that Omnitopia is actually a space station, in case there was any doubt. The uh, front of the instruction manual pretty much gives that away, though. So yeah, we have to solve the problems in Gothica before we can go up to the space station. That's convenient. He's got his telescope pointed at the other castle. And it has an audio listening device on it. That's really impressive. Or maybe our hero can just read lips. I don't know. Man, this woman's a piece of work. Well, I guess she's not a woman. She's a robot. Please stop doing that with your arms. Just, just don't. Cretans. Anybody that calls other people Cretans is generally a bad person. Her troops will be expecting it. Why don't I just beat them up? The good news is the alternate route that he's proposing takes me through a very interesting area. Which we will see shortly. Oh, iron. Cool. One of the ingredients that I need for Lance. Maybe I can unequip Crush after all. <laughs> of course, Gomi is none too bright. Wow. Way to throw your brother under the bus. So there's a few items to get in here. Let's see. Slow burn formula. Gradually drains targets HP. That actually might be better than corrosion. I mean, I never found any mushroom merchants, so. Besides that, who wants to cast a spell that uses three water? That's a bit much. 
We're gonna unequip Crush because I don't think I'm gonna need it. Um, we'll go with Lance and Slow Burn. I'll buy some Brimstones. Yep, really gonna load up on uh, Brimstone. Probably kind of silly, but uh, I don't know. Slow burn might be really good. I'm gonna find out. And here we have the launch pad for the airship once I get it, but I don't have it yet. formula. I wonder if that's any good. Destroys barriers. Looks like it uses ethanol and ash. Yep. I better stock up. Well, I'm not going to equip that one. I'm going to leave it here. The night basher is green, apparently. Is it, is it actually green when I equip it? Because that would be kind of weird. Let me see. Oh, it's already equipped. Excellent. So yeah, the Night Basher breaks barriers. So I'm going to use that to uh, make my way back to the chessboard. But first, very sad music. Oh god, so sad. I mean, it's a really good track, but it's just those first few notes of it that are very... Uh, those first few notes really kind of get at you a little bit. Let's see what kind of loot we can find in the basement here. Matter of fact, this would be a good time to try out that formula. Where is it? So you could essentially just spam this formula to, to level it up. But you need to find more powerful enemies than this, for sure. See, it looks like the Night Basher is not actually green. Which is disappointing, but uh, so it goes. 120, yeah. So unfortunately, because I haven't been building up my other axes, there's very little carryover for this new axe. I think I'll wait until I get the final axe in Omnitopia, and that's the one that I'll build up. I think that's probably the, the best way to go about uh, seeing the final form of the axe. The, the final attack, rather. And in the meantime, I suppose I could just use any weapon. Now, how did I get in here in the first place? Oy vey. Am I going to have to like actually check my... I am. I'm gonna have to check my previous video and see how I, how I even got in here in the first place. Hold on. Checking, checking, checking. This is like in Spaceballs when they watch themselves on VHS. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so it's behind this house over here. No, no, it's not the sad music, me from the past. Okay, so I come up around here and boom, there we go. Whew. What happens to players who forget that? What if you like take a break from the game for a week and you come back to it and you have no idea how you got there? The good news is this maze is my oyster now because I can break blocks. So yeah, this is a really interesting part of the game. Um, a lot of it's because Nintendo Power didn't cover it. So it's the first part of the game that I remember being completely new to me when I first reached it. I'm just leveling up Slow Burn real quick. You know, I just, I like those dots. I wonder if slow burn and uh, corrosion would actually stack with each other. Then you'd have two dots going. So this is basically a very rickety tower. It's kind of a maze, but not really. It's, it's going to do that uh, big bug thing where it sends me back to the beginning. We don't want that. I guess I'll be following a walkthrough for this dungeon as well. You know, as much as I want to level up this dot, I just realized how pointless it is. I could just be lancing all these guys. Watch. And the fact that it uses the same component is just kind of, I don't know, seems a little silly. See, look, boom. Might as well just do that. And our running back four is uh, knocked out again. Oy vey. Whoa, I think this is the first time that my regular attacks have hit for over a hundred. Just regular non-charged attacks. Oop, boss fight.
No! Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. And the, the poor dog, where is he during all this? Okay. Fireball is very overpowered for some reason. Don't know what's going on here. I think I think I'm gonna have to resort to drastic measures. Plague, shield, shockwave. She's got some interesting attacks. I wish I could, you know, use them. Try them out, see how they work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Aura from Horus and uh, proceed to immediately waste it because he drops me down several floors. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna get back up here and attack while I have invincibility up. Wow, okay. He must know that I just activated Aura, so he's just spamming me at this point. I wish I had a timer running down on that 45 seconds. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There's your 45 seconds right there. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Well, I got a slow burn on him. Maybe if I revive the dog, he'll stop doing that. So yeah, I, I can't even I can't even do anything to this guy. Jeez. I'm not even gonna waste I'm not gonna waste any more call beads. That was ridiculous. I waited this long to use any call beads. Finally use a couple of them and it's a complete waste. Wait a minute, if I stay down here. <sighs> okay, so if I stay down here he can't even hurt me. Jeez, this is so unbalanced. Wow! Wow, we are cutting it close here. We are really cutting it close. Nice block. Now to unleash hell. Do as much damage as I can. So yeah, what I should have done is use Aura and then stand down here and blast him with spells. But it's too late now.
Whew. Okay, these two dragon fights were very awkward. I don't know why they got so buffed for this version of the game, but they are very buffed from their original incarnations. My name's Gomi Sun. I like how the dragon's sitting up there picking his teeth. Yeah, why do you want to build this this thing? Okay, that's a good explanation. Yeah, we've uh, we've figured that part out. Well, he sent us, and he also said that you're not very smart. So I hope that's cool. Uh, Lightning Storm, yet another alchemy formula that uses iron. So probably not going to be using that one, unfortunately. I will stick to Lance for now. Sterling's like, I ain't giving nobody a ride. Oh, I guess he will take us. There we go. Very good. Very good. So, yeah. We're almost done with Gothica now at this point. Just have to go back to the castle and take care of the evil queen. And uh, let me see how far I can get in this episode. Maybe, just maybe... I can finish this province today, maybe. Wait, hold on. Isn't there an alchemy vendor over here? Oy vey, let me let me through. Man, this is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. <sighs> Again, I'm, I'm very likely to just say forget it and, and go. No, 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 almost there. Phew. <sighs> really? That's it? I thought he was an alchemy vendor. Maybe I could stock up on some stuff. Oh, well. Phew. All right, we are back in Ivor Castle. We, we do not smell good anymore. Uh, now we smell quite, uh, quite rank. So, I'm gonna be tracking some sewer water around these nice carpets. Here we go. This is the final boss of Gothica. Although uh, Sterling that I just fought is much more of a final boss. At least he used to be. I don't know what it is now. Now these guys might be super buffed. We're about to find out. What's that guy doing up there? He's like perched on the back of his chair. What's he doing? Very odd. I'm trying to line up both these guys so I can hit them. What? That doesn't make any sense. I just took out one of them in one hit. Unless, unless this one's physical weak and the other one's magic weak. Is that maybe that's what it is? So I took out the magic weak one. That's got to be it. 
I don't know why else. Why else one of them would be that much weaker than the other. Alright. I need to heal. Wait, what? They regenerated? Oh, okay. You have to fight a few of them. I got it. Huh, nice. So, because these guys have magic resistance, I'm forced to actually use physical attacks to win a boss fight. Very good. I'm gonna whip out the bazooka for Mongola. Here we go, bazooka time. You ready? I'm ready. Where's that bazooka? There it is. Oh, 120. Oh, it's out of ammo. Well, it was fun while it lasted. So for this part, I'm probably best off spamming Lance on Mongola until the fight's over. And just not even worrying about uh, the physical dude. Uh-oh, Fireball. Well, it's not quite as OP as when the dragons used it, so that's good. gets very easy sometimes. It's definitely unbalanced. Just letting that heal go through. There we go. Wait a minute. He should have been... This guy should have been kaput by now. This is ridiculous. Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I, I can't seem to move. This is very odd. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the game is stuck. That's very unfortunate. <gasps> oh, phew. Okay. Whew. I was this close to reaching for that reset button. We're okay, though. God, stop doing that with your arms. Oh, here it comes. Belly flop. Oh, she missed. And that's all she wrote for the evil Queen Blue Garden. The latest nefarious robot. That's right. She was a she was a machine. Take this. Switch. Oh, yeah. Gold coins. Once I move to Omnitopia, that'll be worth like a thousand credits after uh, the conversion rate, so thank you very much. Now Ivor Tower is collapsing, and uh, all the rich people are going to have to move back into Ebon Keep. I'm sorry, guys. It's like reverse gentrification. Okay, so that does it for Gothica. Another fun episode in the bag. Wow, this place is really coming down. I don't think we're out of here yet, dude. 
So wait, this is the king. Oh, here, gotta go, gotta go. What is this guy's problem? What a weird king. I'm gonna follow him and see where he goes. I'm very suspicious of this man. Huh. So at this point I have to go back to the chessboard. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if it's too late to loot this place, because I didn't loot it earlier. But you know what, at the same time, I doubt there was anything particularly great here. I like the atmosphere of this place, though. I will say that much. It's got a great atmosphere. This right here looks like some kind of wine cellar. You know, I just I want to like rifle through all these barrels and crates and see what I can turn up. Drink some wine. What? Sounds like your wife died, bro. Oh, okay. His wife is that random woman down in the grates who flirted with our hero. And that explains why she flirted with him. She's probably horny as hell from being down there for so long. She hasn't seen her husband in years. She's a poor woman. This guy doesn't even care about his wife. He, he's not even asking me, like, well, how's, how's my wife doing? You know, is, is she okay? He doesn't even care. He's just like, well, I'm glad I got my key back. That's all I care about. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? I shouldn't be buying anything from you, bro. You're, you're not a good person. Oh, good, iron. There we go. <laughs> Get my lances restocked here. I hate how you can't buy up to 99 of an item. So, right here, see? Can't carry any more. Yeah, I can. I can carry four more. But nope, it has to be multiples of five. So basically, uh, yeah, I'm stuck with 95 lances. Oh, well. 57 brimstones, 10 feathers. Man, feathers are expensive. Firepower must be really good. Presumably. Anyway, so yeah, just uh, collecting some alchemy. If I ever play this game again, which I think this might be the last time for me, just because I've played it so many times that I just don't really think there's anything left to discover. But if I ever play this game again, for like just a final time, um, I think it'll be a collect all the alchemy run and the goal will be to grab every last uh, alchemy formula in the game. I could probably do that on this run actually because I've gotten most of them. There's a couple I'm missing like double drain and sting from uh, Antiqua. But I've got most of them. Oh, wait. That key that I just gave that dude, that was the key for all these doors. So I should have unlocked all the doors first and then given him the key. Damn it. Didn't think of that. Well, in any case, say bye to Ivor Tower because we are done here. And uh, we're back out in the chessboard now. And that concludes today's episode. Next time... We're going on the scavenger hunt, collecting the parts for the airship. And episode after that, we're going to Omnitopia. So I'd say we've got maybe two or three episodes left before this game's over. Uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, and thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you next time.